Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do November readings for all the zodiac signs. These are general readings, so take what applies, if it applies. You know what to do with the rest of it. And a big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if you would like a private reading, personal reading, then all that info is in the description box below. This reading is going to be for Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you in November 2022. Sagittarius energy. Hmm. We've got the Nine of Swords here. And that's Sleepless Nights. Thinking about something over and over and over. Not getting any resolution to it. No solution. Might cause anxiety. Maybe even bad dreams. Hmm. Energy for Sagittarius in November. Hmm. We get the Six of Rods in reverse here. So in the upright, this is about overcoming a battle and being victorious, coming back from a battle and being victorious. Or getting accolades, props, and recognition. This is still in the battle. No victory yet here, Sag. Now remember, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love, your career, family, however it applies. You know, this, you know, it could be your energy or a partner's energy. But somebody here is very worried about not achieving something or reaching a goal. I don't think it's so much about, you know, the recognition. But I think it's about completing something here, Sag. You could be having doubts, you know, that um something is going to be conquered or achieved. Because you get the Knight of Swords here in the reverse. Now, he's a fast communicator. He's a messenger of some sort of communication. But in the reverse, not yet. The communication hasn't come through yet. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you haven't heard back from a job. You know, this is only an example. You know, or a certain person. Or a friend, or even a family member. And there wouldn't be any type of uh, victory unless you hear from them. Especially if you worry about them. But communication might be what you're waiting for, or wanting. Could be causing anxiety. Hmm. But you're keeping it to yourself, Sag. You get the Four of Pentacles here. Some say it's the Miser card. But this person doesn't speak their mind. They don't voice their opinion. They keep all that to themselves. You know, kind of like an observer. But not adding to it. You know what I mean? Keeping comments to yourself. Or your opinion. Hmm. They get judgment. Now, judgment is about hearing the call, rising up from the ashes, coming back like a phoenix, a better version of yourself, rebirth. This is also about making a final decision. Sometimes it's about reconciliation, you know, second go at something. But a final answer needs to be said here, Sag. You know, something needs to be carved in stone, I want to say. Bottom of the deck, you get the high priestess. Now, the High Priestess is a keeper of secrets. You know, does she tell everybody? No. You know, she says when she's good and ready. She lets her intuition guide her. She trusts her intuition totally. But never underestimate the High Priestess. She always knows a lot more than what she says. So, if, he's, if you're staying closed-lipped here, Sag, Maybe you're waiting to see, you know, if your intuition is right, something pans out. But waiting, waiting for an answer seems to ring pretty heavy with me. So let's find out what the Nine of Swords is 
sleepless nights and agony thing is about thinking about something over and over where it keeps you up. This worryment. Hmm. About which road you're gonna go. Hmm. Hmm. Luck, fortune, could be money. This could be about, you know, hearing back from a, a job. You get the bouquet. And the bouquet is, you know, beauty for as far as the eye can see here. But it's about abundance. You know, maybe this is for some, you know, a job that has all the benefits that goes with it. You know, insurance and 401k and all that stuff. And that's the road you want to take. Possibly more money. Maybe that's what you haven't heard back from here, Sedge. Because you're still in that no victory yet because you haven't heard. That makes sense. But what are you staying silent about? Maybe you haven't told anybody, you know, about these expectations. Maybe you don't want to say anything until, you know, you hear something back from someone. Four of Pentacles, staying silent. Ah, because there's a lot of chatter. The birds and the trees is about gossip. And that's gossip, you know, like by the internet. You know, texting, email, Skyping, all that stuff. So, there's a lot of talk around you, Sash. You know, I want to say maybe boasting. Some people are boasting. But nothing's carved in stone yet. Calendar. Or keeping score, counting, counting down the days. Counting down the days seems to fit. Hmm. About the messenger. There's a male rider. Again, about that communication coming in. Something might have a, a due date if you don't hear back from someone, you know, by a certain date. Maybe it's getting closer to that date. Hmm. And I think if you're worried about this, about this communication, worry, worryment is wasted energy, Sag. You know, it serves no purpose and at the end. You know, it takes more than it gives. So try not to worry about it. Just try to go with the flow here. Now, judgment. The final decision. Get the woman in the house. Judgment. Something swept under the rug. You could be feeling like maybe you got overlooked or something wasn't taken seriously. Sneaky. The fox. That seems to work with anxiety, I think. Or thinking the worst. You don't know why the communication hasn't come in yet. This could be thinking, because there's chatter around you here, Sag, that maybe somebody came in and snuck something, you know, and intercepted something. And it was just swept under the rug for doing something sneaky. I don't think it got overlooked, Sagittarius. You know, let the people around you talk all they want. Doesn't mean they have anything. Doesn't mean anything's carved in stone. But definitely... Follow your intuition. Your gut. And try to keep that focus point there. Because, Sag, something might come out of the blue. It might shock you. But, it brings in stability. Something goes to the next level. The Four of Wands is about 
you know, something that vamps up or gets started on solid ground for the right reasons. Ugh, can't help but look at this stuff. How about that opportunity? So, don't count yourself out yet, Sag. Don't make that final judgment call. Stay cool. I think you will hear something. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.